Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at your options for rotating shapes in Illustrator. But before we start the video, let me tell you where you can find additional Illustrator training of mine. I have a series of courses at Udemy and in the description below are coupon links for each of those courses. My coupon prices are always at least as good as anything that Udemy can offer and often they're even better. I also have lots of classes over at Skillshare for Illustrator, Photoshop and also Lightroom. The coupon in the description below includes an offer at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and generally mine is better. If you sign up for Skillshare you get access immediately to thousands of classes there including over 200 of mine. So let's swing back to Illustrator to have a look at some of our options for rotating shapes in Illustrator. I have a series of shapes here. Each one of these shapes is identical. I'm going to use them to show you some of your options. And the first option is to use Object Transform Rotate. Object Transform Rotate. Now the limitation of this particular option is that it's always going to rotate around the center point of the shape. So if you want to rotate something around its center point, that's just great. This is a really good tool to use. I'm going to rotate around 45 degrees, so I'll type 45. And as soon as I tab away, I'll be able to see what 45 degrees looks like. If I want it to go in the opposite direction, then I'll just click in front of the 45 and type minus 45, and then it will go in the opposite direction. Now, the benefit of this dialog is that I can either click OK to get this shape rotated or if I click copy I'll get the original plus the rotated version. So you get plenty of options here but you are always going to rotate around the midpoint of the shape. Now the second option that we're going to look at for rotating a shape is what's called the transform options and they're accessible through the transform tools. So I'm going to choose window and then transform. With this panel, I get to choose where I want the rotation point to be. So with my shape selected, if I want to rotate it around this point here, I'll just select the middle of these nine options at the very top to set this as the rotation point. So every single one of these handles is one of these nine points and the one in the middle, of course, is this midpoint. And I can rotate by just typing a rotation value in here. So I'm going to type 45 and you can see that it's rotating around this point here. So this option, this transform option has a benefit in that you can select one of these nine points to be your rotation point. You can't make a copy through this dialog, but you can change your rotation point. So I'm going to leave that shape as it is. The next option is the Rotate tool and it's over here on the toolbar. I'm going to select my shape and I'm going to click on the Rotate tool. Now the benefit of this particular tool is that you can choose any point you like as your rotation point. It's set by default initially as the midpoint in the shape. But if I go down here to make a rotation point here, I'll just hold down the Alt key on a PC, that would be Option on a Mac, and click once. And that moves the rotation point to this point here. Let's just zero this out. So my rotation point is now where I set it by Alt and clicking. And now I can rotate wherever I like. So I'm going to type 30 degrees this time, and we're going to rotate 30 degrees in that direction. If I type minus 30, then we're going to go in the other direction, but rotating around this point here. And of course, we can always click copy to make the original plus a duplicate. Or if we just clicked OK, we would have just got the rotated copy. Now, one of the benefits of using options like the Rotate tool and Object Rotate is that there is a Rotate again. If you hold down the Control key and tap the letter D, that would be Command and D on the Mac, then you can repeat the last rotation. And so you could create a series of shapes that were all rotated, for example, around that central point. So let me just grab this lot of shapes because they're sort of in my way right now. Let's group them and I'm just going to shrink them because they're a little bit in my face. The last option I want to look at is the Effect menu. So I'm going to select this shape and choose Effect, Distort and Transform and then Transform. 
With this option, I get to choose the same nine boxes as I could choose elsewhere, for example, using the transform options. I'm going to choose this point as my rotation point. So that's going to be the bottom middle one. And if I rotate around 30 degrees, for example, then we'll see that it's starting to rotate around 30 degrees. But the benefit of this transform effect is that it will do a lot more than just a single transform. For example, I can start increasing the number of copies. So I could do my rotation of all my shapes around this central point all at once. I can also change the rotation point by just clicking on another point to see what other interesting shapes I might get. I can move at the same time and I can scale at the same time. So for example, if I type in 80%, then my shape is going to get smaller as it goes around. And each one of these shapes is going to be 80% of the size of the previous shape. So this dialogue's got a lot of options as well as just a simple rotation, zero for one rotation and one copy for the original plus a duplicate. And of course you can add a lot more. So those are the basic rotate options that you have in Illustrator. Object Transform Rotate, always going to rotate around the center point. The Transform options that are accessible through the Transform panel give you the choice of rotating around any one of these nine points, but no copy as you do that. The Rotate tool, well, you can specify your own rotation point and that can be anywhere. And Effect Distort and Transform, a little bit more than just a straight rotate. There's lots of other things that you can do with it. This one does, however, have the proviso that right now, this is just an effect. So if I go to the Appearance panel, you'll see that this is the Transform effect. So it's not actually baked into these shapes and this is not a separate shape. If you do use Effect Distort and Transform and you want to get the individual shapes out, you're going to have to expand them with Object Expand Appearance. And now you get the two shapes. I hope this video has been of help to you in understanding some of your rotate options in Illustrator. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Please, I encourage you to share this video with family and friends who would find it of use. And please, if you're using these techniques in your own Illustrator workflow, post a comment and let me know because I'd love to hear from my viewers and subscribers. Until next time, my name is Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.